All right. What is up, everybody? We got a box of Commander Legends to open up here. With all this goodiness. Bam. With over 70 Legends in the set. <clears throat> to go with. I'm quite ecstatic about this set so far. Get some room going on here. All right. So there is a standard box, but there's only 24 packs in here. So a little bit of playroom. No biggie there, though. No biggie. Get rid of that. Bam. Let's start the Kraken, shall we? All right, come on, Hoggle. Hoggle's gonna give us some luck today. Ugh. Now, I had some tips from some of the last box openings I did to kind of skip the common on common slots, go more to the biggies, the big cards. So, we're gonna rush our way through the common on common slots a bit here. Um, unless something stands out at me that I want to talk about, I'll just keep spinning through it really quick. Excuse me, didn't mean to do that. Uh, Lore Seeker Stone. That's cool. Uh, I'll bring back here. So now we have Don Glane Regent. When Don Glane Regent comes in the battlefield, you become the Monarch. As long as you're the Monarch, permanency control have Hexproof. Um, this is a pretty amazing card. I mean, seven mana. It's going to cost a lot, but the fact that you get to draw cards and everything on your board is untouchable. That guy's going to be fun. Blim, the comedic genius. Oh, that's a good start right off the bat. Got the triple rare pack. Could go for a quad though with foil. I'm not sure if you can get a rare in that slot too. But we got Blim, the comedic genius. Make sure that's right on the money there. I'm not sure. Shoo, of course it doesn't want to autofocus now. So, Blim, the comedic genius. When Blim, the comedic genius, deals combat damage to a player, that player gains control of targeted permanent you control. Then each player loses life and discards cards equal to the number of permanents they don't control that they own. It's going to be a little fun saucy type. Fun saucy type thing. And we got the, the million ability of Chroma. Flying first strike vigilance trample at the beginning of each combat until end of turn. Other creatures you control get plus one plus one. If it has flying, plus one plus one out of this first strike, and so on. You're gonna go for some over the top decks that are gonna be just trying to, you know, obviously sweep the board. That's a cool foil. I do really like that one. Um, one second here. Let me see if I can set up my autofocus because it's being dumb. I don't know. We'll work on it there, I guess. Bam. All right. Let's keep on rolling. Not a bad first pack. Mythic and two rares. One of them being a Chroma. I'll take that. Boom. Huzzah. All right. Let's go through here. Go my body, which is... Ooh, Court of Ambition. That one's not too bad. I kind of like that one. Let's get up closer here. Bam. When Court of Ambition enters the battlefield, you become the Monarch. So much Monarch in the set, which is good. There wasn't enough to it before. If you have Rupke, each opponent loses three life unless they discard a card. If you're the Monarch instead, each opponent loses six life unless they discard a card. Be good for decks where they make people just pitch your hand. So we got Galanra. And Mira, Thorn of the Glade, green black. Ooh. That looks saucy. This is part of the new alternate art cards that they have for specialty cards. This guy looks sweet. On camera, this just does not give it justice. This thing looks very awesome in person. Yeah, yeah. Vigilance Reach. When Galfin of the Last or another creature you control dies, turn up to one other target creature card with the lesser toughness from the graveyard to your hand. Definitely not too saucy in a prismatic. Paper. Boom. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Bam. All right. So, not too bad. Not too bad. Well, there's a. It's not a chink in it. I thought there was a little chink in there. All right. Good second pack. I'll take it. Keep on rolling. Rolling, rolling. Keep on rolling. Rolling. Ranged. Get it back. Keeper of the Accord. Bam. 
Kodama of the East Tree. And Allosaurus. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Definitely not too bad. Bam. Kodama of the East Tree. These packs are thoroughly hard to open though. Look at that. I got some tough, tough packing. Alright. Preordain. Sunset Pyramids. Got some brick counters. And Junie Dungeon. Frexian Trinoform. That's pretty cool. The Encore. Over the top Encore. Brinlin and Kedis. Yeah. Boom, boom. Brinlin and Kedis. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, another Mythic. Got a pack of Mythic something right here. Yeah. Dragon Mantle. Tangible Virtue. Ooh, Rings of Bright Hearth. Nice. It's gonna get some, some tokens. Oh, the Trickster. Flash Flying. When you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, look top two cards of your library. Put one of those cards in your hand and the other in the graveyard. Definitely good when you're countering things. Jalem's Tomb. Jalem's Tomb. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Preordain. Murder. It was murder. Brass Herald, one of those theme based decks, creature based decks. Another mythic. Is every card in the set mythic? I'm, I'm not getting it. Mark on Corn Enters Battlefield, you become the monarch! As long as you're the monarch, damage doesn't cause you to lose life. Ooh, that was gonna be vicious. Kingy. Kingy. Birdman. Milk him in the middle. Uh -huh. Fair enough. Maybe I'm just the mythic master? I don't know. Every pack I've opened, I swear, has got a mythic in it so far. So. Uh. I should pre cut these packs before I get in here. These are nuts. Nuts, I tell you, nuts. Either that or Hoggle is just the best luck could give her out there. That could be true, too. Sailor Moon. Arcane Signet. Plague Reaver. Torgo and Slurik. <laughs> Torgo and Slurik. Yeah. Probably one of the lesser packs that have all of them that we've opened so far. Alright, now we're gonna triple spin through this and we're gonna start zipping to the back. Alright, let's do it. Elvish Dreadlord and Everna the Chaos Bloom. Damn, that one's pretty saucy. As you cascade, you put a land card from the Lungzog cards in the battlefield tapped. Teamer colors. Try Teamer. So, it's not bad for a cool cascade, a little cascade combo deck. Oh my god, I'm going insane opening these packs. These packs are like ultra sealed, I tell you. Shimmer and Mirror? Not uncommon now? I thought that used to be a rare. Mutineer! Part of the Pirates. Salamander Pirate. Thalassi. Thalassi. Reference Medium. And uh, it says, uh, hmm, hmm. Hmm. That's pretty, like a pretty passive, pretty passive pack there. No, it's been an attack! Hail Kite Corsair. It's part of the two-card combo of Kiki Jiki, I think. Hey, look, another mythic. Oh, Lothiel, the bounteous down. They're talking about this guy being really good. Making your guys get super huge from the life gain. Giving our guys plus one, plus one at the end of combat. There's two solids. Two solids in that one. Dargo, the shipwrecker. I just love that picture. He's like, you want some, bro? You want some? Leap the crab. Copy, making copies. That pack was pretty good. I think that Hellcat Corsair is going to turn into some, some wicked combos, that's for sure. Uh, 
Bam. All right, let's go. Storm, sir. Navy's disc. Oh, Navy's disc. I blight massacre. A rock. Let's do the rock. Man, who would have thought I'd be opening up Navy's discs? I think I'm having a throwback to her. When I open up revised packs and I crap, crap the Nevi's discs in there. Ooh. Become the monarch. Let's make some angels. Yorlock the Scorch Thrash. Yara. War Seeker. And a Prismic. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, I'm just gonna do some spinning through. If I hit a uh, card, I'll, I'll bring it up to the camera, go quicker, but I just wanna speed this up a bit. Alright. Glad they brought the vows back. That was kinda cool. You get your hands on those without having to buy victimize. We've got a Flamekin Herald. Commander spells you cascade. Commander spells you have cascade. Um, Kingji, Aluhara, and that guy. Bam. It's kinda cool every time you play a commander. Get a cascade, so do some fun saucy combos with that guy. Find Kim Harold. A visionary right off the bat. Doo doo doo. So Sakashima's Will. Rogroth, the uh, Kobold Warrior. Uh, oh, Court of Ire, uh, foil. Court of Ire enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. I'd be Rupke. Court of Ire deals two damage to a target. If you're the monarch, they take seven. Um, but I don't know. Another throwback. Uh, kobolds. You know, it was always kind of a fun gimmick. Um, but it never really w went anywhere. So I really wish I had bought a bunch of kobolds. Because I bet you they are insane priced right now. I'm going to build a kobold deck. I'm going to buy all the kobolds. Now oh, we've got a kobold commander. So. Body of Knowledge. Breaches. Uh, brazen Plunder. And Itch to Geek. The Human Artificer. I'm not sure even what I want to pull out. I've been pulling out. I'll leave those in here. I just pull out the rares and stuff, so. Yeah. The Tree Folk Shaman. Hello, students there. Promise of Tomorrow. Whenever a creature control dies, exile. That's the beginning of each end step. If you control no creatures, sacrifice Promise of Tomorrow and return all exiled creatures back to the battlefield. Kind of cool, saucy thing. Rebic and Tuya the Bear Claw. I love this one. That chick riding a bear. <laughs> Gotta play that with Savage Punch. Be like, oh, you wanna Savage Punch my bear? Well, she's gonna get you. Bam. Court of Bounty. Court of Bounty, obviously, become the monarch. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a land card from your hand into the battlefield. If you're the monarch, instead, you may put a creature or land from your hand into the battlefield. That's gonna be broken with over the top things. Zara, the Renegade Recruit. She's the rare, rare legendary. Strength and pack. Get out of here, pack. I can't open this. It shield so good. Kuma Baji Witches. Another flame can herald. That's the first double up I think we've got. Oh, there's a rare. Vault of Champions. Uh, when Vault of Champions enters the battlefield, unless you have two or more opponents. Yeah. So, kind of cool. Take a look at that one. Oh, yeah. Well, that one. Right? Take out your lands in your deck. Heck yeah. <clears throat> Boat of Champions. Blasphemous Act. And Jared. Uh, oh, my God. We got the triple. Triple rear pack. Jared, which apparently Jared came out in... Apparently a comic book for magic before anything else. That's the rumor I heard about, Jared. And Livio, Orth Sword of Sentinel. Bam. I never knew that he made his first appearance in a comic book first. Kind of cool. Bam. Blade Griff Prototype. Another Yorlock. Now we're hitting all the doubles. Slurric and the Gifts. So there's only two doubles we've seen so far, I'm pretty sure. Back to back packs. Hole Breacher. 
I think Hullbridge is going to be amazing for Commander. If an opponent would draw a card, except for the first one they draw in each of their draw steps, instead you create a treasure token. Take that all, you draw happy decks. A little alternate art looking card there. Is that the etched one? Yeah, these are the cool looking foily etched ones. I'll leave that one out. Bam. Bam. All right. Court of Cunning. And Dragon Egg. Hmm. Court of Cunning. You're the Monarch. They mill 10 cards. I'm going to go mill happy on them. Command Beacon. Bell Borka. Looks like we're on our last pack, guys. That was quick and easy. Quick and easy. War Room. Pay life equal to the number of colors in your commander's color identity. Draw a card. Kind of cool. Abomination. And Tormod. Tormod Desecrator. Forceful Denial. Color Target Spell. Cascade. Bam. Well, that is it, guys. No uh, Jeweled Lotus. No $1,000, $100 million, $5 billion Black Lotus card. Um, that saddens me. It'd be cool to open up one of those. Uh, it looks like so. We got this guy. Look at these are two of the alternate cards that we got in here. Cool art. And again, on camera, it doesn't get, give it quite justice, but I do like how these look. They're kind of cool. They just kind of have a foil foil pop to them so um other than that i got the foil court of ire i think all the courts are fun the whole being a monarch and getting a bonus out of it really um they really stepped up the monarch game this time around so but yeah so either way hope you guys uh have a safe weekend and if you get some packs may you get the jeweled lotus thingy whatever the one's worth a million gajillion dollars so all right guys thank you again very much and i will see you on the next video take it easy